Hi guys, so it's been two weeks since I had Emilia, baby Emilia, and this is going to be my story of my C-section, my delivery. So on November 29, we had to be there at the hospital at 5.30 in the morning. So we end up leaving the, my house to drop off my older daughter around five o'clock because my mother-in-law lives like very close to us so we we went to drop her off we left her there my older daughter and then we just drove to the hospital which is like five minutes less than five minutes to get there and because it was five in the morning obviously there was no traffic at all so we just get there we got there very very fast so the doors were open we didn't have to go to the emergency room usually when i had my daughter Olivia, we had to go to through the emergency room, through the emergency, but this time the doors were open for delivery. The doors were open to get there for the delivery. So we just walked in. They were waiting for me already. So once I said my name, they knew who I was. So they wait me right away to see what, what was my weight then in um didn't gain that much. I just gained 15 pounds total. So they, they right away, they put me into the room. Once they put me to the room, they hooked me up with IV. They asked IV and they drew blood and they wanted a, a urine sample. So once we had all of those things done, then they start um, questioning you. Uh, when was your last meal? When was your last, um, when did, when did you drink water? When was the last time you drank water? And they examine you to see if they need to shave you down there, um, which they end up shaving me down there. Um, because my doctor requested me not to clean myself, they were gonna do it for me, so they had to wait. So, and after that, time actually flew once they put that, that IV on, they had, at least they had to put one IV on me so they could start doing all the process. Um, once like 30 minutes passed by, that IV was already gone. So the um, the doctor that I was going to do my anesthesia came by. He started asking me questions if I had any um, surgeries in the past, which I said yes, a C-section, how was it? The only thing that I experienced was my left side getting numb first versus the right side, which ended up happening the same as this C-section. So after that, I signed some forms. They asked me if I wanted it um, in case I lose a lot of blood, if I wanted a transfusion of blood, obviously I say yes. And um, by, no, by time actually flies by then then my doctor appeared he's like are you ready for this and i say yes and in a cup like around 7 30 is when they wheel me into the er i believe it's called where they do the surgery and i get there everything is like very the room was small it wasn't big and when I look at the table where they're gonna do my C-section, it's like 12 inches long from here. Like, I, I can't use my other hand, but it was like 12 inches long and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall from that table. I honestly thought I was gonna fall because it's something so small. It wasn't big, it wasn't comfortable. It's like, if I want, if I move my, myself to the right, I'm gonna I am gonna fall from that freaking table. If I move to the left, I was gonna fall. So they're they're like, oh no no, just stay in the middle. So it's a small table. So I'm in the ER. The the anesthesiologist is there to give to give. I don't think so. He gave me the epidural this time. No, I don't think so. He probably gave me like a tap. Because, let me tell you, I was feeling everything. Except, 
actual paint, but everything else I was feeling it. I felt when they opened, when they pulling, the tugging, when she came out. I I was to even telling my husband, get ready, she's out. She's get she's out. They're pushing my stomach. You could feel the the pushing of the stomach. So that's why I don't think so he gave me the patrol because I was feeling everything. So he he gave me whatever he gave me, the epidural, the spinal tap, I have no idea. They lay you down on that table and they put something between my legs. I have no idea. I'm like, why are you going to put something between my legs when it's not down there, the surgery, it's in the domino place. But they put something between my legs. And I didn't think about it anything bad about it. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever you want to put that, it's, it's fine with me. And then put the current in top of you, which I couldn't see anything, but they started the surgery, my husband, it, by the point when they were going to start the surgery, my husband wasn't there yet. So they had to count all the instruments that the nurse said, okay, can you please count all the instruments? I'm like, please count the instruments. I don't want any instruments inside my body. So they did count the instruments. And after they count the instruments, I think the doctor, they were waiting for my doctor. He was in the other side getting sterilized, getting himself really cleaned and ready to get this little girl out. And once they, he came in, he's like, okay, we're going to test you if you feel anything. Which, thank God, I did not. I didn't feel pain, but I felt pressure and a lot of pressure and pressure and pressure. That's what I felt. And um, <clears throat> and after they called my husband in and he was in the room with me, um, and, and I told my husband, get ready because the baby's coming out. And she did. She did came out. And... I wanted some graphic pictures. Hopefully I could. They're not the greatest pictures, but at least my husband tried to please me by taking some graphic pictures when they pull out the baby. Hopefully I could add it here. And after they brought the baby out, they just show it to me for a couple seconds because they wanted to make sure she was nice and warm. And um, nice and warm. And they cleaned her up. She had a lot of like those, I don't know the, the name of it, but she was full of white stuff, which is covered by their skin when they're born usually or they Macolium. I honestly don't know the name the name of it. So she was cover of that. So they clean her. They make sure she was breathing well, and she was. And they're trying to finish me up here with sewing me up. <clears throat> when they, <clears throat> when, well, when the surgery was done, I asked. Uh, I don't think so. He was a doctor, the nurse. I asked him. If they put me stitches or <clears throat> they sew me up <clears throat> I asked he's like no no we don't we don't put stitches we just sew you up and we put tape but I just wanted to let you know that the doctor was really <clears throat> amazed because once he opened he saw inside all that um, scarring that's supposed to be scarring was <clears throat> was like nothing like nothing happening to my uterus, like like I had no C-section before. So he was very amazed that all my, my scarring and my whatever's supposed to be there when you have a C-section, it it disappeared like 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 I had never had a C-section before when once they opened because that's that's what they told me like it, it, they were very surprised how my healing went for for my first succession. So I'm happy for that. After after they, they finished the surgery, they put us into this room for recovery. But the recovery, it wasn't like 
like with the rest of the, the recovery we were separate from everybody else I don't know why they did that but they separate us from the from because obviously there's like how can I explain there's it, it's a huge room the only thing that separates you from the rest was a curtain at the recovery room but this they sent me to this other like private room for recovery we were there for like an hour almost two hours and a half and the reason we were there for so long it's because when I was pregnant they told me that I had gestational diabetes so I had to take care of myself by dieting I didn't took any shots or anything it was just dieting but because I had it they had to monitor her for 24 hours to make sure her sugars did not drop which at this point because I had a c-section they recommend you not to eat for 10 hours obviously her sugar was down and she was down for 30 30 that's what they said and the average I believe it had to be like 40 or 50s for her to be well I'm not sure I'm not a doctor I'm not a doctor so I'm not sure exactly how much she had it she had a bean in her sugar levels but they were saying oh she's 30 so I have no idea if this that bad or good but the only thing that I know is that they started giving her like like medication but it was more like sugar for her sugar to come up so they give her like two large syringes um, they were not big they were decent size for her age but there were two large syringes once they gave it to her they rechecked her sugar's level and it was like 50 something so they're like okay she's fine but they asked me if I wanted a nurse like if I wanted a um, breastfeed and I said yes obviously I want to breastfeed but obviously my milk wasn't here so that trigger that doesn't really help her with her sugar and they're like okay are you done to the other nurse that, that was there with me because we need to roll her out before her sugar drops again the baby sugar so this other nurse was pushing the other nurse that was taking care of me to bring out the baby from from the recovery room so she could be in her in the other room so once that was it <clears throat> they pushed me to my actual room supposedly that I was gonna stay in which they had no private room available for me at that moment so we so they sent me to this room which I had to share a room with another person by then I'm like oh great my husband is not gonna be able to stay with me because have to share a room with another person that's what I'm thinking at this moment I'm like oh my gosh what's gonna happen because <laughs> I mean after c-section you cannot get up and stand and walk like normal you have to stay there laying down for 24 hours so I'm like oh my gosh I have to share a room that's my my thinking and by then they send us to the room and they check her sugars again. Her sugar dropped to 30. And I asked the nurse, okay, my sugar's dropped, her sugar's dropping, that means she has to eat. Give her formula instead of waiting for my milk to come in. They're like, oh no, 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 you cannot do that. It's not protocol. Um, once I the hospital once you say breastfeed they take it serious they don't joke around they want you to make sure you breastfeed not formula so they denied us the formula they're like nope we're not giving you formula and I said in one of my videos back then I said um, we're taking our own formula for in case something happens it was in the trunk so that didn't really help us
<laughs> so I'm gonna do another separate video because my time is up with this video and I'll see you shortly.